Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up TinyMCE, a versatile HTML WYSIWYG text editor for your web projects. So let's get started. For this project, you can use text editors like Sublime Text, TextMate, Coda, Notepad++, or IDE like Eclipse. And to check our result, we'll need browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Microsoft Edge. And we'll need TinyMC and jQuery. In this tutorial, I'll be using Sublime Text as my text editor and Chrome browser to test my output. Step 1. Download TinyMC. For this, visit tinymc.com and click on this download link. Scroll down and download TinyMC community version by clicking on this download button. Next, we need to download jQuery. For this, visit jQuery.com and click on this download jQuery button. Scroll down and download the compressed production jQuery 1.12.4. Now open your favorite text editor or IDE and create a project folder tinymce. Now inside the project folder, create a subfolder and name it js. And create another subfolder and name it plugins now rename this jquery file that we downloaded earlier to jquery.min.js and unzip this tinymc file Copy this jQuery.min.js file inside the JS folder of our project. And open this tinymc folder, go inside JS folder and copy this tinymc folder inside the plugin folder of our project. So we have our jQuery.min.js file inside the JS folder and inside the plugin folder we have the tinymce folder containing all the tinymce files. Now inside the project folder, create index.html file. Now let me quickly go ahead and write the basic HTML structure. So we have the doc type set to HTML. We have the opening and closing HTML tag. Inside the head tag, we have the title tag set to tinymc setup. Then we have the body tag. Now inside the body tag, create a text area tag. And give it a class, tinymc. We will be using this class tinymc to convert this text area into a tinymc text editor. Now we'll include JavaScript files. So create a script tag and first we include the jQuery file which is inside the JS folder. So JS, jQuery.min.js. Next, we need to include this tinymc.min.js file, which is inside the tinymc folder, which is inside the plugin folder. So we'll write script, src, plugin, tinymc, tinymc.min.js. 
Now inside this tiny MCE folder, create a new file and save it as init tinymce.js. Now include this JS file inside this index.html file. For this, create a script tag and set the src to plugin tinymc init-tinymc.js. And now to convert this text area having class tinymc into a tinymc text editor, switch back to this init-tinymc.js file and call the init function of tinymc. So write tinymc.init. And this is going to take an object parameter. So we create an object and set the key selector to text area dot tiny mce this is going to tell this init function that we want to convert all the text area having class tiny mce into a tiny mce text editor so save this file and open this index.html file in your web browser. And we have our tinymc text editor. And to add more menus and more features to the toolbar and to the tinymc text editor, all we have to do is go back to our init-tinymc.js file and add some more key value pairs in this object that we are passing to this init function of tinymc. Here we have set the selector to text area dot tinymc. That is, we want to replace all the text area having class tinymc with tinymc text editor. We have set the theme to modern and skin to light gray. We have set the width to 100% and height to 300 pixels. We want to show the status bar. So status bar key is set to true. We have some plugins and in the toolbar, we have some options like insert file, undo, redo. The pipe symbol means we are separating them into groups. So we have a group of align left, align center, align right, and align justify in a group. We have say link and image, print, preview, media, full page. Then we have some style formats like headers, h1, h2, h3, so on. Inline like bold, italic, underline and so on. Blocks, paragraphs, block quote, div and pre. And alignments like left, center, right and justify. So all we need to do is save this file go back to our browser and refresh and we have our tiny mc text editor with some more menus some more features added to the toolbar and you can also count the number of words in this text editor so for instance we can write hello world Or we can write this is a tiny MC text editor. We can change the style this like set it to bold or make it say inline italic. Or we can give some headings like heading H1 change the formats heading to h1 and if you want to check the source code go to tools click on the source code and you will get the html source code 
for this text that we have written in the text editor. To check the preview, just click on this preview button and we get the preview. And if you want to insert image, all you have to do is click on this insert edit image button and in the source field, paste the URL of the image file. For this example, I'll be using the image link of DY Classroom website. So paste it inside the source field and the dimensions will be automatically populated. Keep the constraint proportions checked and click OK. And we have the image. And similarly to insert a video, click on this insert edit video button and uh, in the source field, paste the URL of that video file. So I'll go back to my YouTube channel and I'll copy the link of my last YouTube video in this source field and click OK. Let me increase the size of this text area. All right, so we have this video embedded in our text editor. Click on this. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakti and you're watching Charge.js tutorial series. Well, it's working. And this brings us to the end of another how-to video. I hope you guys will find this video interesting and helpful. All the important links will be given in the description, so please check that out. And I'll be posting this tutorial on my website, dyclassroom.com. The link will be given in the description too. Please subscribe my channel by clicking on this subscribe button. And to watch my previous videos, click on the annotations given on your screen or click the links given in the description. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.